All right, everyone, so welcome to a new episode. We're going to replace the radiator from the Mini as it's leaking. The coolant is completely empty, as you can see here. And there is a leak going on at the top of the radiator. So we're going to replace it for this new bad boy. So that we can get this puppy back on the road again. So I'm going to get it up on the lift and quickly remove the wheels. Let's do this! So we're first going to remove these four plastic screws. Then we're going to remove two 8mm bolts, one over here and one over here. And then finally remove one Phillips screw over here. And repeat the process on the other side. In the end I'm going to replace all the broken clips with new ones. Then we're going to remove two Phillips screws, one over here, and one over here. And then three 10 millimeter bolts. Then on top we're going to remove two T30s, one over here and one over here. Then we're going to disconnect these connectors. And on the other side. Then we would also need to disconnect the fog lights which is located over here. There we go. And on the other side. There we go. All right, so in my case, the bumper is still being held down by the license plate holder. So we're gonna remove the license plate and the license plate holder. So now we would be able to remove the bumper. You're not able to see this, but there's also a temperature sensor right over here. There we go. And that's the bumper removed. So now we're going to remove four 13 millimeter nuts and one 13 millimeter bolt. And the same on the other side. So now we would be able to remove the crash bar. There we go. Next up, we're going to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. So first we're going to put our oil cooler to the side. We're going to rest it on here like so. Then we're going to remove this radiator support. And over here. There we go. We're first going to unclip this. Then we're going to remove this piece of foam. And this one. Then we're going to pop it out. Remove these rubber grommets. All right, and now it's going to get ugly. We're going to disconnect the coolant tube from the radiator. And that's the clip removed and now for the show lovely yeah that was always going to be messy so then we're going to remove the upper hose over here that's the clip removed ah yes all right that was relatively dry good all right, so now that the radiator is completely disconnected from the car, it's still attached to the fan of the car. Instead of disconnecting the fan, we're just going to remove the radiator from the fan. We're going to do so by unclipping this here. There we go. And do the same on the other side. There we go. And then it simply slides out. And there we have our broken radiator. It was leaking from here. Apparently that's a problem on these 2002 Mini Coopers. All right, so let's quickly install the new one. All right, so now we're going to grab our new radiator and first install the fan to the radiator. So you have these two tabs and here as well, and they slide in these spaces. So we're going to grab our radiator, line up the clips. That's one. That's two. So now we're going to reconnect our coolant tube down there. Like so. 
Then we're going to reconnect the clip. There we go. I put it back in its old position. That's going nowhere. We would also need to transfer these grommets from the old radiator to the new one. That's one. And that's two. And then we're going to pop this back in the frame. Like so. Then connect this coolant line. And that's it. All right, there we go. Not sure if you can see that. Then we're going to put back in these rubber grommets. And these pieces of foam. Then these clips. Then we're going to put back on the oil cooler. There we go. All right, so as you can see, there was actually nothing to thread in because the nuts are still inside the old radiator. I didn't know that. So we're going to extract these and put them in a new one. Well, here they are. There we go. And two. All right, so now that the radiator is in, it's actually a matter of putting everything back together. And let's continue with filling up the coolants and bleeding the system. All right, so before we're going to fill and bleed the system, we're first going to turn on the ignition. Then we're going to turn the heat to high, and the fan needs to be at the lowest setting like so. So then we're going to unscrew this cap. Then we're going to open this bleeder screw. We're going to put a rag beneath here. Like so. Then we're going to put in a funnel. Then we're going to use our distilled water and our antifreeze in a 50-50 mix ratio. All right, off camera, I've mixed the antifreeze with the distilled water. So this is now a 50-50 mix. Ah, there we go. Not sure if you can see that, but um, coolant is starting to overflow here. I can still hear bubbles emerging. And there it's going again. I can still hear bubbles. So now it's not bubbling anymore and it's still overflowing. So I'm going to close the bleeder screw like so. So then we also have a bleeder screw over there. It's located over there. We're going to unscrew it. I'm going to unscrew it and watch if bubbles or coolants emerge. All right, well, nothing seems to emerge from there, so we're going to close it up again. All right, so we've removed the funnel again. I'm going to close this up. There we go. Yeah, hi, the Hunter Hoffman here. Uh, my mic apparently died, but as you can see, I put back on the plastic cover and I'm filling up the expansion tank with the rest of the coolant up to the max level before closing it again. And that's how you change the radiator on a Mini Cooper. Thank you for sticking to the end. Go cop yourself some insane merch and see you next time. Then up top. Then up top, we're going to remove two T30. Then then on top we're gonna to remove two teeth. Then on top we're gonna to remove two teeth. <laughs> Wat een f***er clipje, zeg. Ongelooflijk.